What's up guys? LeBron Games here. Uh, when we left off, we had just finished Ustengrav, and I decided to come over here to this house that I totally forgot you can get at the very beginning of the game. It's another Creation Club one that, you know, because it's Creation Club, I'm just, I forget that it's here. But I decided to come over here real quick and just show it to you guys. It's pretty pretty sweet there was a little quest attached to it which I'm just about to finish since we're going inside yeah see completed yeah this is mirror watch it's it's like a mage tower you know kind of house you know, tons of bookshelves you know kid beds Got your oven, master bed, got your little study area over here, I guess. But this part's real cool. The Mirror Watch Gallery. Check this out. Yeah, this is your little mage sanctum. You got everything. Got your enchanting table. This is real neat. It's a staff enchanter. It allows you to make your own staves. I've never seen anything like it. Like I said, it's Creation Club stuff. So I think it's real neat that it's in here. Um, just like with the other house, you know, my main house, Hendraheim, you got your all your Daedric Priest masks, your weapon racks, your places for the unique weapons. Yeah, plenty of mannequins for all your favorite armors. Yeah, here's your alchemy lab. Look at all the ingredients and crap. I'm probably going to take all this stuff and put it in my main house, but I'll do that off camera because, you know, that's boring stuff. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. You have fertile soil where you can plant your own ingredients to regrow. I think that's pretty neat. Um, and you got your... You got a forge over here. The All Forge? I don't know what that means. Like, I mean, I only have access to, you know, the things I already know how to create. So I don't know what All Forge is supposed to mean, but it's, it's there. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show that off to you guys. It's pretty sweet. It's your typical mage tower. So, yeah, if you're playing a mage character, I'd say this would probably be your favorite house. Not mine in particular, but it is definitely cool. Just wanted to show that off real quick before we dive right into the... Well, pick up where we left off. Which was... Let's see here. Yeah, we finished Mirror Watch Quest real quick. Yeah, now we gotta go meet with whoever took the horn. Which, I know exactly who took it. It's not quite a big surprise. She happens to be back down here in Riverwood. So, let's just take a little jaunt down there. You know, as many times as I've played this game, and as long as it's, well, as long as that particular DLC has been out, I still haven't finished the Dragonborn one. Like, I went to Solstheim, like, once. And I think it's kind of sad. And when I last, like, 100% completed this game, that DLC wasn't out yet. I believe when I finished it 100%, there was only Dawn Guard and Hearthfire. There you are. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. The one on the left? Okay.
Uh, I'm waiting. Oh. This left. There she comes. Lydia, move. So you're the dragon. I am. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Lydia, you're standing right there. Why couldn't you close the door? You're the one who took the horn? Surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. What's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. What do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on the moon. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get so hostile. Go on, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. How do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Why'd you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing or nothing. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some foul plant. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't. The Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You are the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Yes, that's how I first learned I was Dragonborn. Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. So what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Do you know how crazy this sounds? <laughs> a few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. What makes you think the dragons are coming back to life? I know they are visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So where are we headed? Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Hold on, I'm not ready yet. Around for you to make up your mind. I'll meet you at Kynes Grove. Don't waste time getting there. Okay, don't worry, I'll be there soon. But first, I'm gonna take all your stuff. That's Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. Hey, come on. God, it's so finicky. Some lavenders, sure. Carrots, sure. 
coins, gold, enchanter. Ooh, scroll of firestorm. Sure. Aha. I definitely want the orcish greatsword. And the blade sword will still be there. Take those arrows too. I believe that orcish sword is better than mine. Let's see damage wise. 39 and 42. Yep. Not by much, but still. Unfavorite that and we'll sell it when we get a chance. Now before we go meet her and go do the whole dragon slaying we're going to go back up to High Rothgar and finish off that quest real quick. We'll probably do her quest in the next episode. Actually, yeah, we'll take that. We can drop it off at my house. Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and leave there. Your choice. We'll split up and I'll meet you there. I got another thing to take care of real quick. Yeah, because Kynes Grove is all the way over here. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take a carriage to Windhelm and then just walk down. It would be much faster. As opposed to running from here all the way over there. Especially with how easily my dumbass gets sidetracked. It would take forever. That would be another three parts. Hi, Hrothgar. That's Wolfgar. Aha, Arngear. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen, Rook. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Sounds special. Okay, great. Finished off that quest pretty quick. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is 
go to my house real quick. Drop off some stuff. Head to Windhelm. Sell some other stuff. And then we'll take the carriage over to Windhelm. And probably call it an episode there. Actually, now nah, we can squeeze it all into one. Kynes Grove is real close. And we'll finish up with a killing a dragon. How's that sound? Yeah, I love this house. Oh, wait. Do I have any... Yeah, I have some. Yeah, I keep all my smithing stuff over here in this chest. As well as pelts. So let's see here. I had an ingot and a pelt. Okay. Yeah, I like everything to be organized. You'll see more once we get inside. All my ingredients I, for potions I keep over here in this little satchel. Food I keep right here in this barrel. Books, I keep all here in the bookcase. Even notes, you know, whatever. Here's where I keep all my gems. Oh yeah, soul gems. Um, did I have any... No, but I'll disenchant that real quick. Usually whenever I come across magic items that I don't know yet, I'll come over here, disenchant it, just to get some enchanting experience. These are the things I all have equipped, so they're always going to be there, at least until I replace them. Um, let's see here. Oh, yes. Soul gems, all down here in the drawer. And... I gotta go sell some of these potions. So, next we're going to Whiterun to go do that. And then we'll take the carriage. Hopefully, she'll have some health potions I can buy, too. I have any oh yeah I could sell her my great sword I don't claim the finest weapons in armor yeah it's only worth 14 gold but whatever no apparel to sell nope don't forget to check inside the shop what you waste I wonder if this guy's gotten his money back yet. Yeah, when you sell, well, when you sell too much to the shopkeepers and they run out of gold, it takes them two yeah. days to get it back. Oh, a bit of this, a bit of that. Yeah, see, he got his money back, which is good. Um, yeah, no weapons to sell him, but let's see, 213. Yeah, we'll sell that one first. Then we'll sell this one. 
Now we can start selling some of these other ones. This one's 101. Yeah, he doesn't have enough to buy that one, but he could buy those two. Alrighty. Ah, damn, I forgot I had scrolls. That's okay, I'll go sell those to Farangar. Now I gotta go sell potions. And hopefully she'll have some more healing potions I can buy. I'm just pale. There's one. Alright. How much gold does that give you? 769? Alright. Let's just start going down the list. I want that one. I don't want those. I need all these. You can have that, I need that. You can have that, 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 and that. All the rest of these I need though. Yep, I think that's just about it. Great. Back anytime if you need a remedy. Now, let's go talk to Farangar, sell him my scrolls. He might actually have a healing hand spell that I could buy so I can heal Lydia. Oh when she's stupid. It's a shame, isn't it? Up the stairs we go. There you are. It seems this damnable. So you wish to master the arcane arts? Well, that depends. Do you have healing hands? No, he has fast healing though. Dang. Oh, never mind. There it is. How much? Two twenty-nine. Eh, that's not too bad. I'll buy it. Okay. Scrolls. You can. What? I thought I had two scrolls. Oh, whatever. Well, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Interpol. Don't worry, I'll get to it. I guess he can't buy that scroll for whatever reason. Well, that's kind of stupid. We'll just have to wait till Bellathor gets some more money. All right. Now that all that business is taken care of, instead of walking all the way, Let's just fast travel down to the stable real quick. Need a ride? Yes, I do. I want to go to Windhelm. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Sounds good. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some time. They say the big old palace there was built by Yiz. I hate frost trolls. It's cool how they have three eyes, though. Oh man, gonna have to retry the upload. Okay. Kynes Grove is back down this way. Oh wait, I'm not even on the road. Aha. Here we go. <sighs> yeah, 
here's the path. Now we're on the right track. Dragon is attacking Kynesgrove? Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. That's a good idea. Oh, hurry. We might be too late. You're going the wrong way. It's up this way, isn't it? Oh, I guess I'm going the wrong way. Whoops. My bad. Sure is a big bastard, isn't it? Oh. That's right, get down here where I can get you. Gotcha. Right, you do. Whatever you want to know, nothing held back. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. What do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. I've seen that dragon before. The one that got away. Really? Where? It was the one that attacked Helgen when Ulfric escaped from the Imperials. Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. 
I already know who the blades are, so. But. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septum Emperors. Those days are long gone. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next dragonborn to guide and guard as we are sworn to do. But we never found one. So what's our next move? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best team. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Remind me, who are the Thalmor? The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in town. The Empire barely survived the last war. What makes you think the Thalmor are behind bring are? What makes you think the Thalmor are bringing dragons back? Nothing solid yet, but my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks. Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Why are the Thalmor after you? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. So, we need to find out what the Thalmor know about the dragons. Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. The problem is that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. So how do we get into the Thalmor Embassy? I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to put things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. That'd be a big help. Also, feel free to leave any comments. Next time, I think we're going to go ahead and sneak our way into that there Thalmor Embassy. Once again, I'm LeBron Games, and I'll see you next time.